This conference will now be recorded. Yesterday, we started uh, the course and I went through entire course content. Preparation phase or uh, how to prepare the data for group reporting, master data, transaction data. Then we talked, we discussed different activities we are going to perform in the group reporting what I'm going to talk. Reclassifications, currency translations, intercompany matching and reconciliation, consolidation of investments, reporting rules. So whatever we are going to cover in this particular course, I explain in that. Today, I'm going to explain what is your target. So what is your target in the sense after once you implement group reporting, how the user going to execute those consolidation processes, right? So ultimately, uh, at the end, whatever we developed, the user has to use. How the user is going to use this particular group reporting functionality. As I said, group reporting is used for the legal consolidation, right? Mainly, mainly legal consolidation. You can perform ICMR, intercompany magic and reconciliation and management consolidation. Let's go through the consolidation process. Let's go to the legal consolidation process, how we will execute in this particular group reporting. The front end for group reporting is theory. Yeah. You can get all the reports, whatever balance sheet reports or income statement, cash flow reports, changes in equity, comprehensive income, whatever reports you want, you can get those reports here in the, from the Fiori app. Go to analytics for group reporting. This, this is called Fiori group, right? In the Fiori group, you will get group data analysis app, group data analysis with reporting rules. So in using these two, two apps, I can, uh, I can, so using group data analysis, I can get p &L statement and balance sheet using group data analysis with reporting rules i can get cash flow changes in equity and comprehensive income reports right so first when you <coughs> the the user right whenever uh, once the system is ready first they have to create their consolidation groups all right the the user will know the the group accountant or the power user or the local accountant the group accountant mainly knows what consolidation groups required for him. Those consolidation groups they can create some master data, right? So they create the consolidation groups here. So for example, I already created some consolidation groups. Yes, yeah, CZ, X0, W. So see, CZ, X0, W. CZ, X0, Europe, E. E, E means Europe, and A, like this, America group. So I created three groups here in the system, three consolidation groups. Why? I want I want my financial statement for a world group. I want my financial statements, consolidated financial statements for Europe group. I want my consolidated financial statements for America group. You might be having some question like, uh, 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 what what is consolidation so the main objective of this particular course is implementing legal consolidation right you might be thinking i don't know what is legal consolidation so uh, i want to understand first what is legal consolidation this i will explain what is legal consolidation i will explain uh, next week because today i just planned overview so let's go through let's understand how the process is executed how the legal consolidation is, is executed so that you will whomever uh, first time attending the legal consolidation uh, course they can easily understand so what's going to happen tomorrow next week when i when i when we talk you can easily understand what is legal consolidation i will explain what is legal consolidation next week 
so we will create so the consolidation groups world group europe group america group we create then we have some consolidation units we will we will create some consolidation units so there are five six consolidation units we created so uh, for example switzerland under europe i have switzerland one consolidation unit so those consolidation units are created here in this area so you can see the consolidation unit you can go here and you can see the consolidation unit consolidation unit is equivalent to consul uh, company in fa so this consolidation unit will have name description and what is the local currency also if it is a non sap system non sap company or non sap consolidation unit you it is no integration with the ag doc a table no universal universal journal integration means no integration with the ag doc a table if it is sap company then we we have to we will go with transfer from universal journal that means that data source data for the consolidation comes from the ag doc a table so we will create sap uh, companies we will create non sap companies we have one sap company also for example if you see TA00, TA00, which is an SAP company. I am going to use this TA00. So, because it's an SAP company, here you see, you can see transfer from Universal Journal. Now, we created, I created consolidation groups and I created consolidation units. So, first group, for example, Europe group. In the Europe group, I need two consolidation units. One is Switzerland, one is France. Switzerland and France. So we are going to create group structure. In the group structure, Europe group we are talking about. So CZX0E. CZX0E. So in this CZX0E, we are going to assign the consolidation units relevant for Europe consolidation. So in this particular group, I have two consolidation units, Switzerland and France. In this, Switzerland invested in France, right? How much? 70%. So, Switzerland invested in France. Switzerland is called as investor. France is called as investee or Switzerland is called as parent unit. France is called as subsidiary. So, how system understands who is parent, who is subsidiary? So, here we have something called consolidation method. So when, when Switzerland is assigned with zero zero consolidation method, system will understand, yes, in this particular Europe group, Switzerland is the parent. When you assign consolidation method 10, then system will understand in this Europe group, France is there, it's a subsidiary, and Switzerland investment is more than 50%. When it is more than 50%, then only we will assign 10 for the subsidiary. So like this world group you create, we will create and also America group we will create. So once consolidation units, consolidation groups, consolidation structure completes, yeah. Financial statement items we have to define, yeah. So financial statement items are basically if you go to financial statement items here, cash, account receivables, accounts payables or non-current assets current assets yeah non-current liabilities current liabilities so we will have the uh, basically we have all fs items defined here now you can see 317000 it's a net income 318000 it is net income partial divestiture 319000 net income clearing yeah so like this you have fs items and FS item attributes. In the next step, what we are going to do, the uh, the user has to define, or the, the user can check what FS items are available in the define FS items. It's all part of master data. And every FS items will have some attributes like FS item role, currency translation. The use of this we will understand. Once FS items are created, these FS items are mapped with, right? So these are the FS items. These FS items are mapped with operational GL accounts in your FI. So we have one SAP company. So TA00, for example, that SAP company transactions are posted in uh, FI. 
which uh, stored in uh, ActDocia table. So in the ActDocia table, the data of uh, this particular company stored against operational jail accounts and company code. So that data should be moved. Uh, that 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 operational jail those operational jail accounts should be mapped to this financial statement items. Where we are going to map those uh, uh, financial statement items with operational GL accounts. So here I have map FS items with GL accounts. Even you can import right FS item mappings. So you can create one Excel file. Yeah, import FS item mappings. If you go here, you can download the existing operational GL accounts mapping with FS items, and you can change according to your requirement, or you can you can create your own FS item mapping with operational GL accounts. Once you map this FS item mappings with the GL accounts, then you can assign those mappings to your particular version, whatever the version. So you might your customer might implement IFRS or US gap. So your customer might have multiple uh, gaps of uh, legal consolidation. IFRS consolidation they want, US gap consolidation that you want. So first, when when the user is going to execute, he has to set the system whether he is going to execute for the IFRS or US cap. And also, the user has to set which period they want to do the consolidation. For example, I want to do the consolidation for 2021 December. 2021 December. And I want to do it for IFRS. So, what I will do here, you have to first the user, anyone, whomever executing group reporting he may be a local accountant or group accountant so go to set global parameters he has to click on the set global parameters he has to select the actual version yes actual version for ifrs he has to select the fiscal year he has to select the period right so the consolidation before consolidation you have to prepare the data for the con consolidation unit so for so what happens there are two roles here local accountant and group accountant two roles like you have accounts payable accountant or accounts receivable accountant or uh, uh, ca ca cash accountant whatever so the same way in group reporting you have local accountant and group group accountant who is local accountant the local accountant is the person who is going to execute the tasks of a particular consolidation unit so the local accountant is going to get the data for a particular consolidation unit for example in our case switzerland and france switzerland is a consolidation unit france is a consolidation unit this switzerland and france whatever data required for the consolidation this local accountant gets from the source systems it may be flat file it may be sap system it may be whatever the source you define so here you have something called consolidation data preparation theory group in that you have data monitor in the data monitor see this uh, europe group in the europe group you have france and switzerland so the you, you here you have the task to be performed by the local accountant so this particular screen or this is called data monitor this particular data monitor is designed for the local accountant what are the tasks performed by this particular local accountant the local accountant going to get the data from the flat files or whatever the source from the universal journal also he can get it he can once he gets the data he has to calculate the net income so from the source he will get the expenses income expenses right before calculating the net because every month we will load the data so you know right in in yearly once uh, in fi yearly once net income is calculated so here in in group reporting every month we have to calculate the net income that's why you collect the data using some task release universal journal and uh, data collection task these are the two tasks for this particular europe and then you calculate the net income so once the user calculates the net income then he can validate the data so validate the data in the sense once the net income is calculated right your balance sheet, the net income is transferred to the balance sheet as a current year in net income 
so when when the net income is transferred to the balance sheet as a current year net income your balance sheet should match your assets plus liabilities plus equity should be zero or assets equal to liabilities plus equity so that 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 should be done using this validation so there is a there is a validation reported data validation validate reported data task when you execute this particular task system is going to validate your data quality so then once the data is validated if you want to post any adjustments the local accountant want to post any adjustments using this manual adjustment posting so what they have to do they have to just right click here and they have to click on update so it opens the app automatically right and it will it will uh, you can this guy can that local accountant and uh, local accountant can post the journal entry then here only as part of a data monitor task or as part of local accountant for the switzerland and france he can we can convert the data local currency to group currency there are scenarios if you observe for switzerland and france currency translation you can see like uh, uh, one red color line yeah currency translation <coughs> for some some consolidation units the the uh, the task is applicable you can you can run the i run so this symbol is basically i have already completed the currency translation this symbol is so basically if you have this kind of symbol it is not complete i'm going to execute so the red line symbol is basically currency translation is not applicable when your consolidation unit currency local currency is same as your version currency then then uh, your your group currency then currency translation is not applicable right if group currency and your local currency are different then you you can run this particular currency translation so what the local accountant is going to do as per his role is going to release the data from the universal journal he is going to load the data from the flat files he is going to validate the universal journals he is going to calculate the net income he is going to calculate he is going to validate reported data he is going to post some manual adjustments he is going to run the currency translation once once it is done right the local accountant he can check his its consolidate its consolidation unit level financial statements how we will check the consolidation unit level financial statements so here as i said you have analytics for group reporting so he goes here he opens this particular group data analysis app in the group data analysis app right we can create uh, from the scratch or so we can uh, we can select the data yeah so i can see some data i created a bookmark so that it it directly opens so we no need to spend some time on the report it already uh, created now here what happens this is my balance sheet and pnl hierarchy for each and every balance sheet and pnl you can see what is france financial statement yeah what is switzerland financial statement you can also if you if you collapse this one you can see when you collapse this one the data should be zero right my balance sheet is zero my pnl also zero why pnl is zero because pnl it should show some difference right so income minus expense whatever is there that is the net income it should show that particular difference but here if you see in the local currency everything is showing as uh, zero so what does it mean basically what happens when we calculated the the here we calculated the net income that local accountant is calculated the net income so when it is calculated the net income what system will do one leg it will post to the 799000 which is pnl account other leg it will post to the balance sheet that's why you will see pnl at the top level zero balance sheet also as zero that's the mean so once the data monitor tasks are completed yeah you you have an option the intercompany reconciliation accountant right icmr accountant not group accountant icmr accountant is going to complete his intercompany reconciliation activities right 
so the inter company reconciliation might happen within sap companies so within sap companies it's it happens in your act doc uh, uh, a level in fi system correct in fi level now in group reporting in group reporting you can do the intercompany matching and reconciliation not only for sap companies sap and non sap companies both so the there are some fury fury groups created uh, to for the intercompany matching and reconciliation so here the user once the so there are there, there are specific steps to complete uh, this intercompany matching and reconciliation so you can go to intercompany matching and reconciliation you can see the reconciliation balances so uh, based on the definition right so you want to match accounts payable with account receivables so you have to define those matching right matching rules based on the matching rules system will define once the system reconciles right when the the how can the intercompany accountant can check the balances are complete i mean i mean or how the group accountant can check whether a icmr accountant is uh, completed its uh, tasks or not so you understand icmr accountant what is this is uh, this icmr accountant job he is going to perform his re intercompany uh, reconciliations right so now data local accountant is going to complete its consolidation unit level task right icmr accountant is going to complete the icmr reconciliation and all those things now the next task is the group accountant going to check whether this icmr accountant completed its task or not how he can check there is something called reconciliation clause so when you go when you go, when when he goes to the manage reconciliation clause based on a reconciliation case you have to select the reconciliation case and select the version when the group accountant select the version right so reconciliation clause status is open so what he will understand looking at so i am the group accountant this is the app recently introduced when 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 the group accountant look at this uh, particular screen he will understand switzerland and france right reconciliation is not yet completed there are some differences in the reconciliation so how, how much the reference 102 so he can go inside he can click here when he clicks here the difference is shown here the reason for difference is also you can see here transaction difference so if you want to analyze you can go directly you can click on this 102 euros then it goes to the reconciliation balances so here you can check switzerland and france accounts payable and account receivable right partner unit amount is 1020 leading unit amount is 918 and the difference is 102 and if you see the difference it is in the red color that means it's about the tolerance if it is zero then the the color of the i mean it will show the zero if it is less than the tolerance you will get in the uh, yellow color so when you go inside even you can analyze how this 102 uh, is uh, 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 the reasons for this particular 102 differences so here there is a app the main point here is there is an app right this is just called reconciliation close so the group group accountant can uh, check and uh, if he's okay so i i'm the group accountant i check and if i'm okay i can select this one and i can close it so that it the reconciliation uh, status I, I i i'm marking it as yes it's done now once the group accountant checks this reconciliation close status he will go to the consolidation monitor so the group accountant has to perform his activity right so what is his activity what is this group accountant activity the group accountant activity is he has to execute the intercompany eliminations he has to execute the consolidation of investments so how can he execute the eliminations and consolidation of investments so what sap did they have given one more monitor for 
group accountant all the group accountant whatever account whatever para, i mean whatever tasks performed by this particular group accountant they have given those tasks under consult they added those tasks under consolidation monitor so when you click on this particular consolidation monitor when the group accountant clicks on the consolidation monitor see for each and every consolidation group i have america group europe group world group so consult group accountant going to work on group level consolidation group level so consolidation units are not available here it's the result will be at group level so in the consolidation group level he can execute intercompany eliminations for sales ipi profit on in inventory eliminations he can execute income and income expense eliminations dividend eliminations balance sheet eliminations and these balance sheet eliminations can be integrated with your icmr uh, icmr application so whatever differences are there in IS, icmr when you execute this elimination task the differences are posted to the specific accounts so the differences are different div divided into transaction difference currency translation difference other difference so accordingly system will there are some posting rules you are going to define so what basically what happens here when you are running the intercompany eliminations right you want to identify the differences and you want to post those differences in into specific uh, uh, specific account so you have sap in uh, recently introduced something called posting rules right define posting rules using this posting rules you can design that the the differences should be posted to seller or buyer here so for example i i created one posting rule x double zero pr in the posting rule post differences to the leading unit post differences to the leading unit same way you will have post differences to the partner uh, uh, partner unit right so in bpc right i mean uh, i'm just explaining in bpc we have something right seller rule buyer rule same way here leading you post the differences to the leading unit or posts and every posting so it's the postings are divided into some groups 1010 group 1020 group 1030 group 1040 group so each group will have an fs item to post that difference so there is a logic involved here when its system is calculating the differences what is that logic we will discuss later so now the user the posting rules are defined based on the posting rules system is going to post the intercompany eliminations with the differences now the group accountant because the intercompany icmr and this uh, particular intercompany eliminations are uh, uh, integrated in the reconciliation close app there is a app right i said earlier in the same app you can see whether eliminations for this particular pair of uh, consolidation units completed or not so you go to x00 so see elimination status completed for all these consolidation units so from from this consolidation monitor it checks the status and the status it is updating in this particular elimination in this particular reconciliation clause once the consolidation in the consolidation monitor the intercompany eliminations are posted right you the user can check yeah the or the user can execute the investment and equity consolidation of investments so the user runs this investment and equity right if once the investment and equity uh, runs system is going to what is this task is going to do this task is going to eliminate the investment this task is going to calculate the capital eliminations if this task is going to calculate the goodwill and minorities so the the group accountant if any differences he can he has an option to post the uh, manual eliminations or manual adjustments after the consolidation so once these tasks eliminations and consolidation of investments completed that means the data is ready for the consolidation so you can see the pnl statement consolidated pnl statement and a consolidated balance sheet where you can see in the group data analysis when you come here you can create your own report 
three x double zero ICMR I created. The same report I can change it to the consolidation of investments. So this is ICMR, intercompany matching and reconciliation with the differences. You see the differences. Some these, there are some differences between Switzerland and France. The differences are posted as transaction differences. So now I want to see the entire report, consolidated financial statement. So let's remove these. Now Europe group consolidated financial statement I want. Yeah. So partner unit I am removing this. Execute. So document type is this so navigation panel. So whatever rows, columns you want, you can select from the navigation panel. So here I don't want document type, so just remove the document type. And I want posting level here. So posting level basically tells what is the reported data, what is the intercompany eliminated data, what is the consolidation of investment data, what is your total balance sheet and income statement posting level so i keep the posting level in the columns so now move this navigation panel get the totals Show totals. Now you can see whatever amounts posted for against the 30 posting level, they, those are generated based on the consolidation of investments. For example, if you see 172100, it's an investment account, right? Switzerland investment in France. Switzerland, so this is the partner unit France is 150,000. So this is the data you loaded. So that's 150,000 eliminated minus 150,000 and group level the value is zero. Same way, you have from the France, you have to eliminate the capital, right? If you see here, this is my issued capital, issued capital. So in the France issued capital is 68,090, that's 68,090 eliminated and at the group level this is the group level result consolidation group level it's zero also you can see the minority interest calculated right net income retained and and nsa part retained earnings basically contains the minority part internal external part and if you run the subsequent consolidation even you can see nsa part of the net income so all the intercompany eliminations are posted against that posting level 20. You can see the payables, France payables to Switzerland, something around 20105 because it is an intercompany transaction that 2105 eliminated at group level intercompany eliminations. You can see zero. At the group level, it's zero. Accounts payable, intercompany accounts payables, zero. Same way account receivable, it will show. So this way you can, so how can you say, so for example, these are individual accounts it is showing, right? If you want to make it as a hierarchy, you can select the hierarchy, enable the hierarchy so that it will, it will show the hierarchy wise result. Now you can see the balance sheet and net income here. So because all this consolidation, so if you want only FS item wise, it's always better remove this consolidation unit and partner unit because it, 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 it will be confusing. You can add these consolidation unit, partner units in the columns if you want. So now you can see the, the result shown here. Balance sheet at group level. Yeah, current assets. Now, here you can see, so where you are going to define uh, these hierarchies, financial statement item hierarchies, there is an app 
called managed global hierarchies there only we are going to define consolidation unit hierarchies consolidation uh, group i mean um, consolidation unit hierarchies profit center hierarchies so or cost center hierarchies whatever hierarchies you have you can define in the managed global hierarchies which is the common app now sap uh, released for the hierarchy definition now what about the so pnl statement should we got what about cash flow changes in equity and comprehensive income so you have to define some reporting rules so how the cash flow is calculated right how the so for example proceeds from the borrowings as a cash flow item how how it's uh, calculated how the repayment of uh, borrowing should be calculated once you know the result uh, once you define the calculation for the cash flow items right uh, there is a configuration step here so you have to go to consolidation settings here you have to define the reporting rules so these reporting rules are used to define your cash flow changes in equity and comprehensive income how that uh, these three reports are delivered i mean derived so once once you define the reporting rules you can come to group data analysis with reporting rules so here it will open so here you can execute one one app only you can execute all the three uh, uh, financial statement like cash flow changes in equity and comprehensive income so you can select the variant what you want or uh, you can select the hierarchy so cash flow one hierarchy we create changes in equity one hierarchy we will create comprehensive income one hierarchy we will create so you have to choose that hierarchy against what you want if you select cash flow hierarchy in this particular reporting rules cash flow will be shown so it's taking time i just uh, refresh the screen So here you have to select, yeah. So I want to select the uh, hierarchy uh, cash flow, yeah. So just select the cash flow and just click on go. You can select the consolidation. So group level consol group level cash flow you can get consolidation unit level hierarchy. You I mean cash flow you can get. You can see this. So the, my cash flow is readily available now, based on the rules you defined. Your financing activities, investing activities, all system calculates on the fly and it will show also using this uh, this this how you will get the cash flow and changes in equity comprehensive income and how the management consult uh, consolidation reports you are going to get the management consolidation reports also you are going to get using group data analysis app here in this app using group data analysis app you can get the management consolidation report also so balance carry forward after completing all these things the user can perform the balance carry forward in the data monitor so when when we go to data monitor in the data monitor the user has to the local accountant has to carry forward right so when he carry forwards he will set the global parameters to the next period let's say 2022 001 when he, when he sets this uh, uh, period he will he can run the balance carry forward all the closing balances of a previous uh, year will be carry forwarded against zero period of 2022 right so this is all about uh, entire group reporting processes so you have two roles local accountant and group accountant local accountant perform all his activities for each and every consolidation unit group accountant is going to perform his activities for the consolidation so there are two apps group data analysis app group data analysis with reporting rule app so using these two apps you can you can get all your financial statements you can do the intercompany eliminations you can do the consolidation of investments and you when you can 
in the reports you can easily identify what are your intercompany relevant postings what are your uh, consolidation of investment postings right so this is the overview of uh, uh, group reporting yeah any questions you can unmute yourself next session will be next session will be uh, uh, next weekend right at 9 pm india time 9 pm india time so whom i mean whomever want to attend this particular session please send an email to me i will send all the details whomever want this overview video and uh, 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 demo video just send an email i will i will send an email to bpc.kiran at gmail.com i will give you the details i will send those uh, recorded sessions also right so from I, the next week, in... yep yep yeah thanks so much so from the next week onwards we will understand uh, uh, the key terms and we are going to configure everything in the system as per the exercises yeah If no questions, uh, we will. Uh, yeah. Hey, Kiran. Uh, this is Sai. Uh, yes, thank sir. you for this session. I found it very informative. Uh, I'm fairly new to SAP world, but uh, I was able to understand like 70 to 80 percent of what you are talking. Um, so I have a question regarding the course itself. Like, let's say if I join the course for this batch, hmm. and hmm. I I would be or I might miss. Uh, uh, few sessions i can say starting feb because of my work commitments so mm -hmm. how is that going to work like uh, can i join the next batch again for the same fee that i'm paying right now or like can you explain me it's one time payment you can you can repeat the sessions two three times oh so i can pay once and i can join repeat two or sessions. three batches okay two or three batches not a problem yeah uh and my next question would be when when is the next batch starting i mean do you have any idea once right I complete, every batch i take uh, two months to complete so once okay. i complete uh, this batch i will start new batch after two months okay yeah that's all i have thanks yeah yeah thanks any other questions from other participants right so i'm stopping the recording